Hello friends! Welcome to my channel Alina Craft Studio. Today my video is about how to make personalized labels for Capri Sun juice. It can be a great addition for your birthday decor. You are absolutely free for any birthday themes. Here you can see my three examples that I did earlier. Today in my video I will show how I made my design on Canva for Ben and Holly's Little Kingdom theme birthday. My tutorial will consist of several parts. In the first part I will show step by step how I create the label design. In the second part I will show how I print labels on one sheet of sticker paper. Then I will share information about print settings, what kind of sticker paper I use here. And last and quite important, at the end of the video I will show my technique on how to stick sticker paper on juice packaging without wrinkles. I am sure the video will be very useful. So let's get started. I use Canva a lot. It is perfect for creating a project like this. First we have to create a new design. I will choose a custom size. I decided that the size of my label 3.5 by 5 inches is optimal for me. So I create a new project with these sizes. I found a picture of characters on Pinterest. It will be a basis of my design. The rest we will design together with Canva. Our image is square, but our design is rectangular. To fix this I am adding blocks at the top and bottom. Here I am change a color and use the same blue as the sky from my picture. We repeat all the same step with the bottom. Add square. Stretch our object. And change color to green. Now we have a perfect match. Now I want to add different objects. I go to the search, type butterfly and select image. Also, I think that birthday flags would look great here. We'll see which ones are better. These are perfect. I like these butterflies, but I need only one, so I will crop my image. I resize and change colors. Here I add also a couple butterflies. I think yellow will be great here. Now time is add sign. I am typing name. I found a font very similar with original on dafont.com. The font's name is Little Kingdom and it's free for personal use. I upload font to the Canva. It's quite easy to do, so I wouldn't stop about it. You can see all your uploaded fonts in this field. Here is our sign with new font. I added mushroom and clover to the grass and after that I think design is complete. Our second step. We create a template for sticker paper. We go to the main menu and create new project 8.5 by 11. It is standard size, the sheet of sticker paper. Now I add a picture frame. I change it to the size of my label, 3.5 by 5 inches. We can fit four labels on one sheet. Right now is perfect. Then we go back to our label design, download it, upload to the Canva, 
and add to the image frames. Now our four labels designs on one off sheet of sticker paper is ready. You have also downloaded and then printed. It's time for step number three. I print all my images on Epson Echo Tank 3760 printer. I absolutely love my printer and his printing image quality. And my sticker paper from HTV Rond. You can find link in my description. Let's stop and take a look at the print settings. It's a very important point in order to get a bright and high quality picture of the labels. On my printer I select glossy paper. And when I am printing the image, in this case for glossy paper, I adjust the settings too. I get this quality and I am always very satisfied. For me, these settings works great. The joint work of the printer and HTV Rond printable vinyl paper gives me this result. What is also important is that this paper is waterproof and we don't have to worry about the image getting damaged. Let's move on to the final step. When I printed labels, I cut them on my paper cutter. It helps me to get a perfect cut line. If you don't have paper trimmer, so you can use a regular scissors. Here is our Capri Sun juice. I straighten package where it folds and glue the label along this central line. I fold the corner a little bit and remove the back side of sticker paper. I don't cover the front side of the juice. I use back side. First, I want to give kids opportunity to see and choose juice flavor. And second, it makes much easier to apply the sticker. Just like here, I slightly bend the label and start gluing from the center. I carefully smoothen the label. Then I turn it over. Next roll first one side and then the other. And here we go. This is how I make sure there are no wrinkles. Guys, I hope this video was helpful for you. Please give this video a like. And if you have any questions, please comment them down below. I will happy to help you. Thank you for watching and happy crafting!